All right, we are back here in Forza Motorsports, and we are in the S-Class Open Lobbies here. And we are in the new G55 GT4 Janetta. Did a little bit of a tune, and let's just give it a try and see how it goes. Thanks for watching. Let's jump in the first race. I will say, it's kind of a weird-looking car from the back. I know we are not going to be the quickest car in this lobby, but we should have a lot more handling than a lot of these guys do. That's a speedy, speedy guy. Oh. Not spread up. Oh. Not spread that Ferrari just dove bomb into everyone. Nope. Oh. Ah. Oh. Fair enough. I'll oh, start trying to say sorry, otherwise I'll uh, just crash, I guess. Takes that corner very well. This one not as well. Made it through once again. And this thing is pretty much fully upgraded. Um, it just doesn't have some of the power upgrades to it. Um, it's definitely not that high of a PI car overall. See if we can get a run on this guy. We are pretty evenly matched overall. See, I control it so easy to up. Uh, so easy to uh, hold it together when you're on a uh, steering wheel it just that would not have been easy to catch back Can't believe we got that back up. I feel like this car isn't that good in the uh, GT3 class either. I mean, I played it a little bit last night without a tune, but it still just doesn't have the 
same capability as the other cars in there. It doesn't have the power really and just doesn't have the speed in my personal opinion. I mean it's still decent, holds its own, but it's no new best like new meta or anything like that. He goes blasting past us here. We catch up to him. This thing only does have a V6 in it, so I mean, like I said, it's not super powerful or anything like that. Have a pretty good race between this guy. Okay, we gotta turn in a little sooner here and do a little crap with the brakes. So far, this has all been pretty good clean racing. Oh. Been a little swirly there, but we're okay. Into a eleventh and uh, hard to go around on the outside there. Ooh, someone spun hard. This guy in front of uh us the Acura just isn't quick in any specific part. He's pretty slow all over, I guess. Well, I guess he's not slow, but he's definitely not quick either. I did not want to be next to this guy when we go through here. Side by side through this thing is not where we want to be. Hopefully we can get him here. We are and we're up into seventh. That guy went off track. Just try to hold it together. Come on. Oh, I guess we won't get it because of our penalty, but. <sighs> Good drag race to the end there. We would have had him if we had a little bit more time. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I don't know if I'd say this car is like going to be the new meta for anything. Um, it's pretty good overall, and it's decent for, I'd say, if 
you're doing a lower class race. I think this would be really good in A class. Um, if you just take all the upgrades off. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks again.